to Flashback, Games, Brains, Headbang, and Life here. We're looking at episode 16. We're covering a PlayStation 1 classic. One of those, again, that has the nostalgia go- go- goggles on. Mm. People go, oh, God, do you remember how great that was? Yeah. It's Die Hard Trilogy. All I have for this game is nostalgia goggles because um, my memories of it are very sketchy at best. But I do, I do recall certain aspects. I, I remember you having, like, a... Like, what are you going to go into explaining the whole game? Yeah, you're jumping ahead there. Die Hard Trilogy is a video game based on the first three installments of the Die Hard series of action movies. The Die Hard, Die Hard 2, and Die Hard with a Vengeance. Die Hard 2, Die Harder. Die Hard with a Vengeance. Die Hard Trilogy features three games in one, each based on the movie installment featuring a different genre and gameplay style, which was very fucking cool. It was released on a PlayStation on August 31st, 1996 in North America. December 6th, 1996 in the EU, and Japan a few days later. It also was released on Windows and Sega Saturn, but who cares about that? On December 31st, 1996 in North America, February 28th, 1997 for the EU, and January 31st, 1997 for Japan. So everyone got it basically back then. Everybody did. Mm. So likes, dislikes, favourite moments, scenes, bits of music. Yeah, like I said, kind of sketchy on the whole thing, but I, I do remember obviously the first the first game where you have to infiltrate the Nakatomi Plaza to save hostages. So yeah, there were three styles. You had the uh, third person where you see John McClane in front of you and it's uh, yeah, it's the third person yeah. moving up the floors in Nakatomi Plaza. Yeah. Die Hard 2, Die Harder was a first person shooter uh, on rails, yeah. um, light gun on was game, and Die Hard with a Vengeance was a, I guess car based one not a racer it's hard, yeah, like, you have to get from A to B to disarm bombs yeah that's right exactly it's, that yeah. it's like the, the scene you know where they go to the fountain in the movie to do the whole test to try and disarm the bomb it's like them going from around to try and disarm some basically yeah bombs. yeah, yeah um, I just remember being really ter- I remember being really terrible at the first game really just failing to like every time because I think I think it might be a timed one or something I was I there was a point I think there's a point where you get to a certain floor where you have a certain amount of time get yeah messages. I think they can still be like even if you like collect them they can still be shot because yeah, if you after you've got a certain amount you go up to the top floor and you've yeah. then got to get them onto the uh, helicopter yeah, yeah. No, I, remember, I just remember being really terrible about it and you mentioned the second game but I don't remember that at all really I don't remember that at all no. interesting see I always love the first game of the three the most it's the one that when I went back to play it recently that's the first one I always choose to play I always really loved it and um, because I'm a fan of Die Hard see, playing a game actually based on them was pretty fucking cool that's true um I also like the fact that after a while, when hostages, so you'd rescue a hostage, and you kind of, they, they had to get to the lift to fully escape, and in that time they could still be shot. Mm. So they'd often cross your path while you were shooting a bad guy, or if the bad guy starts firing a machine gun, they'd get killed just across the path. Yeah, I mean that's realistic, you know. But it also would drive you nuts to the point where, oh, you know, I'm sick of this. I'm just going to kill hostages. There was no, there was no comeuppance to it. Yeah, oh, I think I, if you I, kill hostages, more bad guys came down. Yeah. That was about it. Yeah, I remember the third game, I think, actually the most. I remember playing that the most. Simply really? Because, like, being younger, um, I recall um, just the fact that you could drive these vehicles at really, like, full speed and crash into loads of things. You can cause a lot of chaos around the city, yeah. crashing into all this debris and stuff. And, um, yeah. It's, um, I remember being that interested in, like, the actual objective of defusing the bombs. Just the fun of driving through the city and causing chaos was, like... Cause I remember being really frantic, like... I think you could drive like an ambulance or something at one point and there's like the sirens are going off and it's kind of like chaotic. It is chaotic and like when you get to the, like the bomb and you've only got a few seconds left um, it always felt like whoa that was close and the animation you hit that bomb yeah. and you'd bounce off it and you'd get this explosion it was like that don't seem very safe. No. It seems like you're doing this right guys. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but that game got hard later on when you had to fight vehicles. I was going to say like in my mind I remember this being a really hard game like that was almost dependent on your failure. Yeah. To, so you would have to replay like it had, had that replayability that it was in the difficulty to make sure that you would fail so that you you know it was almost unfair if I recall like the whole hostage thing like them being able to be shot when you I was still trying to say my nurse realism and stuff and but I feel like it was purposely unfair almost well put it this way I've never completed any of these games yeah that's never completed I, in any. my memory I remember playing it in short bursts being really terrible at it and then kind of giving up well, that's one of the dislikes really on mine yeah. is that it's all, all very, all of them are very, very tough. Yeah. I found the light gun game in particular to be the hardest because I've never been good at those. I'd be interested to go back and play it now and like, see how you do. with my current gaming skills and see if I was any better. But And one of the other things that we don't like, um, I don't know if you remember this, but the constant voiceovers. So the game had this habit of yeah. sticking voiceovers at everything and it'll have like, in the first game, it was John McClane's somebody doing a bad jump, Bruce Willis. Um, happy trolls well, and not, stuff like not, that. Not, not get Amazingly, back. they didn't. 
And it's uh, interesting because he was in the Apocalypse game, obviously, and he kind of phoned it in there as well. Yeah, so but I, then I find it believable that it was him in the Die Hard game. I'm ninety nine percent sure it wasn't. I'll check it, but I'm ninety nine percent sure it wasn't. I was going to say that the thing that when we talk about just skipping ahead, the thing that stuck with me the most from the game that I remember is the garbled robotic sound of Bruce Willis. I thought it was Bruce Willis. <laughs> yeah, it's the one liners from the movie. Like I'm pretty sure he says like "bye bye bad guy" and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Happy trails, and they're just ingrained in my mind. Yeah, I can hear them now. And he'll say yippee ki yay, but he yeah. wouldn't say the last part. It was just yippee ki yay. Just yippee ki yay. Just yippee ki yay. Didn't they, didn't they like, um, change that to something else in like a TV car? Yeah, they changed it to Mother, mother, mother Fudger. Yes. They, they did, so, their so voice they was Mother Fudger. But I guess they it was awful. They, they didn't think about doing that. But that's what I'm saying. That's why I think it was like robotic. Because I think they just cut it from a movie and just put it in the game. Man. I'll, I'll check it. I'll be yeah. check it. You might be right. But yeah, the voiceover in the third game as well, driving around, was nightmare. Because the voiceover, whoever's doing Samuel L. Jackson, yeah. going, wow, and yeah, stuff see, like that. That's what I remember about. I remember just being like really crazy. Like you're just driving at crazy speed yeah. and like you got all this noise and stuff but I just remember it being a really like there's overload, traffic bouncing off walls overload of the senses and like actually finding yourself the way to the objective was practically impossible at the time as they gave you were just unfair I feel like it was just dependent like they were really short experiences just trying to cash in on the movie ignoring the first movies. game the last two are arguably like arcade games mm. like arcade put your money in and yeah. make it as far as you can where completion isn't really yeah. a goal well, they're, like mini, they're like mini games almost the way they're like presented you've got these three separate modes almost and they feel a bit like mini games yeah. rather than actual games I'll, I don't know how much it costs but I probably would have felt like short change probably so yeah. any other favourite moments scenes bits of music no <laughs> no. I used to always love slaw like in the first game throwing a grenade and killing a load of enemies at that with windows around it all shattered it looked cool as fuck no, I don't <laughs> the soundtracks now there's nothing like stand out but the first game had a kind of techno one mm. the last game had a kind of hip hop one yeah. they are quite memorable like once you get them in your head that kind of thing you know what the first one had techno techno like a techno soundtrack that, that's not appropriate to die hard though is it like the third one what did you say the third hip hop yeah I mean that makes sense because they're in like the ghetto right <laughs> yeah, part of it's set in Harlem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Sorry, Harlem. <laughs> yeah. Girl, fucking hell. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, it's not, again, one of the soundtracks that I put on play, but I've, I'd, if I heard it, I'll play something in this video. <laughs> well, you don't have any you don't have any iPod or anything? No, right? not Die Hard Trilogy, amazingly. <laughs> yeah. It's a tough one. Have you ever played, there have been several, but have you ever played a Die Hard game that you have liked, like loved? How many? Oh, Die Hard, yeah, there was one on the GameCube, like... Uh, oh, Die Hard Vendetta, you remember it, yeah? I remember that very vaguely, but again, I remember that being really hard. Yeah, it was hard. Yeah. It was hard, I wrote a review for the site. it with it being hard? I guess it makes sense, but obviously John McClane and the movies after the third the third one becomes, like, almost immortal. Immortal, yeah. In the, th in the first three, he was, like, a man. Yep. So he could be shot and killed, so maybe that's what they were going for. Maybe. What about Die Hard Trilogy 2? That was a PlayStation I game. I have no idea what it is. I've never played it either. No idea either. Yeah. I must have to check this out one day. Probably. And last but not least, there was one more I had in my head. Oh, do you remember Die Hard Arcade on the Sega Saturn? That sounds familiar. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of when I think of Die Hard Trilogy. No, Die Hard Arcade it was nothing to do with Die Hard. Was it not? Nothing. Absolutely what? nothing to do with Die Hard. What was it? It was a kind of kind of fighting game. I remember fighting game? Yeah. Like a... Like a yeah, like... You'd, like a... Streets of Rage style thing, but not in the streets. Oh, right, okay, like a side scrolling beat em up. Yeah, but 3D, if that makes sense. Yeah, like, yeah. That sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> but 3D. I can't describe it. Okay, right there. Well, you so like John McClane with like two. Fists. No, no, nothing to do with Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so me like making that mistake when we're talking about Die Hard. <laughs> no, it's called Die Hard the Cave, but it's uh, nothing so to do with Die Hard. protagonist. Yes, yeah, like, two fists. And, like, I remember it's a man a cop and a woman cop. No, so you Resident, no. Was, Resident was survivor type. No, <laughs> <laughs> you see him third person. A oh, third person. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> oh, we're getting well off topic here. Right, so Die Hard trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. up, man. You should put a clip right here. Yeah, I'll try and find some Die Hard arcade shit. Die Hard trilogy. There you go. There's a flashback. Not such a great one because it's a mess. Yeah. Check out the other stuff. Hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. <laughs>